What's up you guys? Welcome back to the garage. Um, right now we're about to head to my neighbor's house, the one that works at the performance shop. We're gonna go mess with this project car. Here we are. He's hiding from me. All right, so this is my neighbor right here. Come on, introduce yourself. I'm chilling. Hey, who's this over here? Ah, oh, boy. Hello. Hey, who's this? Say hi. Tell him I'm Chippy. Look at this. He's got a lot of work into this already. He showed me some pictures, and the whole thing was. It was gutted. It was just like a shell. It had no windows, no doors. And how long ago did you move into my neighborhood? Um, two weeks. Two weeks ago? <laughs> Give us a walkthrough of what's What's all done to the car? Why well, I means not even my car? <laughs> what do you mean? Can I show this? <laughs> Tell the people what they want to know. So what's all done to the car? What kind of car is this? What year? Uh, it's basically a 2005 WRX. Um, got it from a shell and we swapped out all STI stuff. So STI control arms. Um, STI interior, full STI interior, full STI harness, um, got a 2011 STI engine, um, it's a stock long block, um, we did a ID 1000s, 1050s, sorry, um, Bogwana S257 SXE turbo, um, turbo smart qualified mid gate, um, we have a Haltech 1500 controlling the engine with hard -tech, some hard tech sensors. Uh, the, the exhaust and the turbo kit was from PNL. Intercooler was from PNL as well. So it's basically a stock build with just bolt-ons. The car has a um, true hard lateral arms, white line, white line uh, sway bars up front and rear. So running on V5. Running on flex too well. Mm -hmm. The first startup was actually a V85. So the plan for this mower is probably just 10 pounds because it's a stock mower and I just want to get get around. So probably 10 pounds and after more builds me my new motor, mm -hmm. we're, we're probably we're, we're gonna turn it up. We also have a PNL PNL fuel line kit. So TGV deletes. So mm -hmm. we, we don't have the TGVs anymore. All of this we make in-house. We yeah. have uh, in-house CNC machines, the fuel rails, TGV deletes, that's all done in-house. Yeah. Our fabricator makes all this intercooler piping, intercooler piping exhaust. Kit. Yeah. We do nice. all this shit in-house. And we also, the WRXs don't come with the with the four piston brakes, but I also did the upgrade for the brakes up front. So it has the four piston brakes later on. I'll upgrade to the two parts in the rear but for right now it'll just be the the four parts up front which i still think is going to be plenty stopping power yeah so, yeah and we also have a uh, and you build and tune everything yourself oh uh, i most of the build was done by myself i had a lot of help from moy and another cool of mine from the shop but the tune the tuning i'm doing it it's basically right now it's basically on a base map i haven't even touched it it's just just how the map came from Haltech. I just slapped it on and changed a couple of parameters, like for the injectors and stuff like that. Configured the sensors, but we haven't done any tuning once everything is done in terms of brakes and we, drivability stuff. Drivability stuff. We tighten all the bolts, like a pitchfork. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah there's, there's no bolt in there yet. So once all of that is done. <laughs> then we'll be definitely taking it to the streets to drive it and probably get it as a rough street tune on it. Yeah. So, so 
So tonight we're just we're, tonight what we're gonna do is I currently have a 450 low pressure um, E85 pump in there um, just to give a little more head headroom. We'll be upgrading to the Wild Road 450 high pressure pump. That one has 115 psi relief as opposed to 87 psi. So that should give a little more headway with fewer pressure, hopefully. Yeah. So we're gonna do that swap tonight. And guess what? We're gonna pause because pizza is here. We're bleeding the brakes right now. Is this all true heart? Yeah, all the red, the red trillion ounce? Yeah. The ounce. Let me know you hold it What kind of suspension is this? Uh the coilovers, the coilovers are rev nine. Oh, okay. The coilovers are rev nine, the sway bars are uh, white line. Give me one more time one? Sway bar is powder coated and you have the white line, the white line lateral links. I mean the white line on um... No, I already did it. And that that's the gold ones, right? The gold ones right here? Yeah. Those are the white line um the hells are they're nice. They're like stabilizer by brackets because usually the stock ones rust. So you replace them with that one. Because that one is all aluminum. Yeah. So then it doesn't rust. You like those four pistons, buddy? Yeah, that's, that's nice right there. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what happened, but the jack ended up underneath the whole car and now it's like stuck under there and it won't come out. <laughs> I don't even know how you do that. So now we can't even pull that jack out. Leading the clutch now. Go ahead again.
volt. Back seat's coming off. So where's the fuel pump? Like over there somewhere? It's gonna be in the truck, but it's easy oh, to in the access trunk? it when you take those out. Taste it. Tastes like power. So why are we drilling this out? So we can put this uh, pass-through fitting. So you gotta run a pass-through fitting whenever you're using a big pump like that, because. So much current's going through this plug, it'll just start melting the connection here and there, and it can cause a short, which can obviously cause a fire because that's in your gas tank. And yeah, fires are no fun. Alright, so you guys can see how much thicker this wire is. Yeah. They put on the compared to these. Like, yeah, the compared pins. to this, the little pins. So this was the wire the that's wire. in here. This is the stock wire for the. Okay. Yeah, huge difference. You got it? You gotta like bring it back first and then slide the tab over and then put it on the studs. So where are the wires gonna go now? Right here. So this one is gonna go to a ground. A ground here. Okay. And the other one is gonna be is gonna be coming from the one of these wires from the relay. You did a green. You had a green from the relay. It's gonna go. It's gonna go to um the red. Okay. And, uh, just prime it just to make sure the wiring works.